If you're a property owner or investor who already operates or is interested in building RV and boat storage, there's an easy way to maximize the return on your investment and generate additional profit. It can even help a developer make faster headway through the approvals process. What is it? The addition of solar panels. Don't believe it? Continue watching. We're going to walk you through a proof of concept case study of a project in Oakley, California. Opened in June 2013, the facility was cash flowing in just 18 days. We'll show you how the owners did it and how you, too, can apply this business model to your existing or future storage facility. You'll learn what you need to get started, things to consider during the decision-making process, and how to ultimately achieve success with the solar panel carport installation. Before we dive into the specifics of Oakley Executive RV and Boat Storage, designed, engineered, and built by Baja Construction Company, let's examine the advantages of building a solar RV and boat storage project. First, it allows you to reduce your tax liability and increase your net operating income. Solar creates a secondary revenue source that can actually rival your storage rental income, again increasing your NOI. A solar installation allows you to enrich the value of your real estate with a capital improvement that can be depreciated over five years rather than the standard 30. Finally, you can receive a tax credit from the federal government equal to 30% of the costs associated with solar. Now, let's get a good look at this amazing project that has proven and continues to validate the value of a solar RV and boat storage investment. Oakley Executive is a 10-acre flagship installation of solar RV and boat storage in the San Francisco Bay Area. It uses solar canopies to support the production of a 1.5 megawatts of solar power while generating revenue from the shaded parking the modules provide. All the power produced is being sold back to the utility, Pacific Gas and Electric Company, or PG&E, on a 20-year fixed-rate contract. The facility is also designed to meet the needs of boat and RV storage customers by providing secure, shaded parking, executive services, and amenities to vehicle owners. This gorgeous Class A facility was built atop a former 100-year vineyard of Heritage Zinfandel grapes. It is state-of-the-art, including creative design elements and high-quality construction, and conveniently located near recreational and sporting venues, campgrounds, and major highways. Bob Hayworth, owner of Oakley Executive RV and Boat and Storage, and Brandon Morford, CEO of Baja Construction, Inc., offer insight on their objectives for the facility. Well, I believe the overall goal of the project was to introduce a new concept in which you took a um, standard RV and boat storage facility and added a solar component which would create a um, totally separate revenue stream. This project actually um, surprised us pleasantly. Um, again, like Brandon said, um, we added solar to the normal RV and boat storage project. And the benefits from adding solar were way more than we expected. Now that you've got a sense for the quality and style of the facility, Let's shift focus to the development and construction process. The layout, design, and engineering were extremely critical in the creation and success of this project, as it includes both solar and non-solar canopies. The goal was to maximize rentable space while erecting canopies that would support the weight of the solar components. The parking spaces are 13 feet wide and angled at 60 degrees. Perhaps the most important element in the design of this project is the orientation of the canopies, which are positioned to maximize the production of power. The solar modules are attached directly to the purlins of a fixed, elevated structure specifically engineered to support their weight. See how the solar arrays double as the shade structures under which boats and RVs are parked. These arrays generate 1.678 megawatts of DC wholesale power that's fed directly back into the utility grid under PG&E's small generator feed-in tariff program. This translates into automatic monthly revenue for the facility owner. You'll see details about the solar revenue model a little later. First, let's take a look at some obstacles that could affect the budget of an RV boat or any self-storage project and how a solar component can help to surmount them. 
In the case of Oakley Executive, the city wasn't overly excited about the prospect of adding another RV and boat storage facility to the already crowded market in Northern California's Delta region. The owner, therefore, faced a good deal of opposition and several attempts to sidetrack the project. How did the owners of Oakley Executive RV and Boat Storage prevail over many of these red light details? You guessed it, by adding a solar component to the site design. The city was opposed to a traditional boat RV storage facility, but once solar was added, the red lights turned quickly to green. There were some hurdles with the city accepting an RV and uh, boat project. Uh, it was you know, bland in nature. Quite frankly, uh, you know, solar is sexy. So there's uh, you know, a vibe around solar and being green and doing what's right for the environment. And once that was introduced as part of the project, as Bob can attest to, you know, it's like the floodgates open. The city was much more willing to help us out. Uh, and really, there are some aspects of the project related to drainage and water and some other detailed items that they, where they were hurdles before, they became almost like pathways. Well, the city of Oakley was wonderful to deal with because they wanted the project, because it helped their image as a city. And so it not only being good financially, feel good as a person, but it, it just clears the pathways for you to get things done. And it's a lot easier dealing with people who want to help you <laughs> than people who want to get in your way. The other primary obstacle for the Oakley Executive Project was financing, which was challenging to find for a new project in a fairly depressed community and economy. Again, the solar components saved the day. Once the project secured a 20-year guaranteed revenue stream from the public utility company PG&E, the money from lenders began to flow. Now, let's look inside the solar revenue generating machine. First. How does the system itself work? In the successful Oakley model, the property owner purchases, installs, owns, and operates the photovoltaic system at his storage location, contracting with the utility to sell all of the energy produced at a fixed rate, paid monthly for a 20-year period. By entering a feed-in tariff contract with the utility company, the owner creates a bankable annuity that he can take to the bank to secure financing. To see and project how much energy the site is and should be producing, the owner can use an online monitoring program like Draker, which is the one used by Oakley Executive RV and Boat Storage. Key metrics make great selling points to storage consumers. We are doubling up, really, on that rev second revenue stream. The solar portion really covers the debt service, and now the rental income is really generating income. We're not covering the debt service at all with any of the revenues from the shaded parking. That's basically 90% cash flow to the owners um, because our overhead's very low, uh, the way we've built the facility, and it's, it's really a cash cow. That's the best way to put it. It's a term you hear often. This truly is a cash cow. So our overhead, because uh, the RV and boat storage portion is probably 60% of our revenue, but by adding the solar, it adds another 40%. Mm -hmm. Well, our overhead, because of that, is like 10%, mm -hmm. which is unheard of in the storage business, okay? Everybody in mini storage is 30, 40 percent. We're 10 percent. The other thing with the RV, which has nothing to do with the solar, but just RV and boat storage, and being that we went for the medium demographic, basically people that have money and have toys that are, you know, fairly expensive, uh, we haven't had basically one delinquency and we haven't had one person not pay us in three years. Tell me any other business right. that can say that. 
So now that you've seen the revenue potential of adding a solar installation to boat and RV storage, how do you know if your property is suitable for this kind of operation and how it might compare to the Oakley Executive Proof of Concept? Your property's solar options are based on your ability to secure a reservation from your local utility company for a feed-in tariff or for net metering. The solar portion is key. So at first is you have to understand the utility you're dealing with, uh, what kind of feed-in tariff or other uh, programs they have to pay you for the power you're going to produce. Um, proximity to a substation is something to consider. Um, geographically, obviously, from a move-up buyer, you have to be in a market where you have that clientele. Uh, additionally, um, proximity to recreational type areas is also something to consider. The incorporation of solar to a boat RV storage project also opens financial avenues that might not otherwise be available to you. We feel that going forward, presenting a similar product to a financial institution, um, it's a proven concept. It's not going to be an issue. So financing requirements are really just the ability to purchase land, secure a PPA, power purchase agreement, and then, quite frankly, that's where we can come in and help you, A, design the facility and secure financing. Finally, incorporating solar into your storage project will improve the value of the real estate while creating significant tax advantages. You should consult with your accountant about how to best use the 30% tax equity and five-year depreciation schedule. If you have a tax liability, you'll want to know what your CPA has to say about solar. There's a whole host of ancillary benefits as well. For example, positive public perception and the general goodwill a green project attracts. Storage operators obviously generate revenue by renting parking spaces for boats, RVs, and other vehicles, but they can make even more money when they add solar shade structures. Creating a second revenue source will not only take profit to the next level, but create real tax savings, reduce tax liabilities, and allow accelerated depreciation opportunities. The key? a solid business partner who can help you make the dream a reality. So, are you interested in generating additional revenue with your boat RV storage investment? Your next step is to reach out to the professionals at Baja Construction and find out if your existing or planned project is a good candidate to make money from the sun.